Hello. Today I'm going to be showing you how to turn this map into this map. Some people call it a non-contiguous cartogram, showing that they're not connected. I'm running QGIS 3.20, which is the latest version of QGIS as of today, August 27th, 2021. So in order to create this map, we're going to be using a plugin called the Shape Tools plugin. So we'll go to Plugins, Manage and Install Plugins, scroll down to Shape Tools and install it. I already have it installed, so uh, I will leave that. And by the way, this is maintained by the NSA, of all people. So for this tool, we'll be using the geodesic transformation function. You can use this button here on the toolbar, or you can go under Vector, Shape Tools, Geodesic Transforms, Geodesic Transformations. So I have my data set here, which is just the United States, and then there's a field value showing the percentage of COVID-19 vaccinations uh, as of August 13th, 2021. So we'll be using the scale factor, which is the vaccination percentage, and then we will save our output value as vaccine output is contiguous. I've already done it, but I will create a new one. And then we'll just leave all the other values as default. And then we will run. And then once that's finished, we will close the window. All right, so let's make this a little more visual by changing the symbology. So we'll double click on our square here, change the drop down to a graduated symbology. We'll pick the vaccine percentage value and then change our color ramp to red, yellow, blue, and we'll click classify and then okay. And so you can see here that the red states show the lowest levels of vaccination rates and then the Yellow is medium and blue is the highest level of vaccinations. And in our legend on the left, you can see 35% is the lowest value and 67% is the highest value. So you can also do it with something like hex bins to get a similar result. And then I just label them based on the state value since they're all the same size. And that's that way you can differentiate them. And it's just a little bit more visual to show the scale because you get a disproportionate scale with states like Texas and Alaska, whereas this is uniform. So you can see the percentage is a little bit better. But yeah, it's a pretty simple tool. You can use something else like D3 for this type of visualization. It's a little more interactive and dynamic for web-based applications, but if you're using GIS, this is just a really quick way of using cartograms, and there's other cartograms that can be done as well, but I will cover those in a different video. Uh, but until then, uh, hopefully this was useful.